thank you for joining me today. Today I have a very heavy Transcend to open up with you guys. If you don't know what Transcend is, it is a styling subscription box through the company EverEve. Um, where I am in California, we don't have any EverEve stores near us, so the only way I can get items of clothing from them is either through Transcend or ordering things online. There is a $20 styling fee that gets applied towards anything that you purchase. Um, trying to think what else they they're kind of more like boutique items so they are a little bit more on the pricey side uh, let's see here inside yeah, wow, this is definitely a packed full box here we have got our note our styling notes we'll look at that here in a sec with the pricing there's the little sheet with everything that is in our box packing slip um let's see here if anybody is wants to sign up um you get 20 percent off your box to get started so if you want to sign up i'll put a link below so if you sign up you get 20 percent off your first box and i'll get 20 percent off if you decide to sign up so let's dive right in here let's see we've got i'm gonna pull this out so we've got one bundle there look at those colors that looks kind of fun and then here's a second bundle seeing some more stuff in there and a third bundle seeing some of my more fun colors and a big old bag to return anything that you don't like or love prepaid so let's see first what my note says so she says this is from alexandria she says, welcome back to Trendset. I'm so happy to hear that you have been loving your boxes. This box was so much fun to put together. I was able to grab some new fun patterns along with some perfect transition pieces for fall. Try to give a variety of looks and colors so that you can mix and match all year round. Good luck and I hope you love the looks as much as I do. So let's kind of look here. And then the nice thing I like what they do is they correspond their bundles and then do outfits. And then she puts a little note on how to style each outfit. So let me see here first, if I can figure out which one is which. So I'm gonna start with this very first one. Let's see this, what is this? this looks maybe, is this a dress? No, this looks, like a kimono so this is the billabong sunburnt sky maxi wrap and this really pretty long kind of a almost like a chevron well it looks like it kind of goes chevron yeah it is chevron so it's kind of chevron actually that almost looks wonder woman i feel like wonder woman right there um but then towards the very bottom, the stripes just kind of go straight across. So let's see what she says here. She says in this note, so this one's outfit three, you will flip over this colorful cardigan, the color, okay. You will flip over this colorful, colorful cardigan. The colors are amazing. It'll be an easy staple piece to layer over all your favorite staple neutrals come the fall. I chose a pair, I chose to pair this trendy cardigan with some lightweight black bottoms and a graphic tee to pull it all together. I love this look because it's easy to throw on, perfect for the weekends or even last minute dinner, dinner plans. So let's see here. So then there is this t-shirt by Let Love, just a New York t-shirt. This is NY on there. And last, she said bottoms. These are the Peyton Jensen Franklin gauze pant. Oh, these are interesting. They definitely they have um oh what do you call that like that um ruched elastic waist um definite gauze type material at the bottoms they oh okay so here we go so they're like they they're stitched all the way down to here and then they flare open and then they're knotted and so they kind of will billow, I guess. All right, those are different. What are these made out of? If I can find the tag here, 100% cotton. 
So these are gonna shrink. I don't know how I feel about these. This is definitely one of those unique pieces out of my comfort zone. All right, let's see here. Let's go to this other smaller bundle. So this one, her note says, for this outfit, I considered your request. Okay, so there's something in here that was probably from my wish list. I was able to find the perfect jumpsuit to take you into the fall with its neutral racing stripes. I chose to pair it with a lightweight black cardigan for those chilly California fall evenings. For the second half of this look, I was shooting to expand your wardrobe as requested with the super flattering and spunky maxi skirt. The pattern is fun yet contains neutral colors to make easy to pair with your favorite basics. So let's see here. So the cardigan is by Peyton Jensen. It's all black and it's the Gwen cardigan. Okay, so it's definitely a lightweight cardigan. It kind of folds over around the neck and then kind of just drapes down the front. There's no pockets. Um, and then the back kind of has like this, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You can probably see you can you see me it's definitely you can tell but there's these lines that go down the middle there's like a definite detail in the down the center so we'll try that on next here is let's see what's this one this okay this is the jumpsuit this is the by, also by Peyton Jensen the Nina track suit track stripe jumpsuit if I can speak today so it looks like this and it has this kind of a black, white and yellow uh, striping all the way down the side, kind of a tapered leg at the bottom. Try that on, see how that looks. Then this, this definitely was on my list. Um, this is also by Peyton Jensen. It's the Parker Tunic Tank. So I already have this one in white and I wanted it in black also because I feel like these type of basic colors look good under various cardigans and especially going into fall. It's like you're still hot so you want to wear a tank but you want to layer up because it gets chilly and wherever you are. And then this is the Tiari Hawaii Dakota Maxi Skirt. Okay, this is interesting. So this has a ruched waist also. It's got these button details. It's a little tie and button details in the front. Those are functioning detail or uh, buttons that are running down the front. So definitely want to press the inside so nothing puckers or pulls right there. But it kind of comes up. It looks like it it tears and it's kind of has like a little flutter flutter vibe going on it comes to here goes down that way and that way this one's pretty this one actually look those would look cute together and it also like these little flowers i'm just now noticing there's um white but then there's like this blue like a sky blue running through it as well so you can pick out another color through there all right, let's open up this last bundle here. See what we got. So this last one, she says, you're going to love this outfit. It will be the perfect transition look for fall. These uh, cut from the cloth jeans are a great staple to any woman's closet with a relaxed fit. I paired these jeans with both a graphic tee and a lightweight long sleeve to give you options as fall rolls in. I chose to layer the graphic tank with green with this green surplus jacket to incorporate some trendy fall colors uh, to tie the look together so first this is an anorak surplus jacket and it looks like this got marked down a bunch too this just popped up it's we'll come back to that at the end so this is by anorak nice green Kind of actually pretty heavy. It's got very little pockets, snap pockets. Let's try that on. Here is the Chaser tank. So this is their Peace tank. 
little fun peace sign. Kind of looks like a dream catcher by Chaser. Cute. Here is the long sleeve. So this is also by Chaser. This is the snap trim top. So it's kind of that uh, ribbed all the way around and it's actually pretty heavy. It's because of these buttons. So there's um, these snap buttons on the sleeves and on the sides too of the shirt. And then last, we have these cut from the cloth jeans. These are the Reese ankle straight jeans. So they are distressed. It's not, not too much, just a little bit here and there down the legs, none on that leg, just a little bit on this one. And then it is the raw hem at the bottom. That was a lot of stuff. So I feel like right now I'm oof. <laughs> got a lot of things to go on here. So let's get going on and do a little try on. Okay, so I've got on the Billabong Maxi Wrap, the New York Tee, and the Peyton Jensen Gauze Pants. I'm not really feeling the, the wrap. It's definitely long. I feel like it kind of swallows me up a little bit. I do, I do think these colors kind of go together. It's, it's very 1970s looking to me. Actually, this whole outfit's kind of 1970s looking. Now, I'll move a little closer so you guys can see the colors here in the wrap. It is short sleeves, but the way they come up, the t-shirt is poking out underneath. So let me take this off. So now, with the tee, the tee, it's just a basic tee. It's comfortable. It reminds me of the No Doubt tee that I tried on. It's the same brand. It's comfortable. I mean, I'm not wowed by it, so I probably will send it back. I mean, everything depends on price. Now, these Peyton Jensen pants, I was very skeptical at first, but now that I've had them on for a little bit, I'm actually really starting to like them. So she had them knotted. So it kind of does this little knot right here. Almost reminds me of like, almost like I dream a genie pants. And then this side, I unknotted it and just kept it long. I put on my own uh, black wedge sandals and I figured, I mean, I'm tall. So the way they hit with these wedge sandals on, I feel like it's at the right length. There are no pockets. The material is soft. There's a lot of stretch still here in the waist because it's elastic. My only concern, and I'll have to check like the wash on these, is if you wash them, is it hand wash, cold, hang dry, or are they dry clean? Because if it is 100% cotton, I'm my only concern is that this will end up being higher up and there is a little bit of looseness in the leg. They're not. Um, they're not super tight through here. So I wouldn't want them to shrink in this way or around like the butt or the legs. Cause right now I think they fit perfect and they're super comfortable. They're lightweight. So I, right now I'm really digging on these pants. I just don't know if it would be better long or if they look better with the little tie. So you guys need to let me know what you think. So next, we're gonna move to another outfit. Okay, so now I have on the jumpsuit and the black cardigan. Now the cardigan is, is perfect. It's nice, lightweight, um, a great layering piece, just very simple black. It kind of, you know, is a little bit longer the front with the way it drapes. So, I mean, it's, Definitely a basic piece to add to your wardrobe. It does pair nicely, I think, with the jumpsuit. Um, move a little closer. Now the jumpsuit, I don't, I just don't know if I am a jumpsuit person or not. It, it's got pockets, which I like. It's a very um, thin, kind of a 
polyester blend of some sort. Um, I'll take this off so you can see. Now it's, I don't think it fits me right. I still have not found the magic jumpsuit that works for my body. It's, I think that where the elastic waist is here hits and accentuates the widest part of my stomach a little bit. So I try to pull it up. Um, the body bottom portion fits, but then as soon as you start moving around, it starts to get a little bunchy in through here, which ironically is where the pockets are. So the pockets are almost like moving around and like bunching up inside. Uh, the, the striping down is, it's kind of fun. It definitely, it's, I almost feel like it's too cropped on me. It comes up pretty high on my leg. Um, this just really isn't my style. So probably definitely will be sending this back, but I do, I mean, I do think it's cute. In the back, I'll show you. It's, it's just adjustable straps. So this one's probably going to be a no for me, but I will say this was easy to get on and easy to get off. It's just, I don't know. It's just not really my style. All right, let's move on. Okay. So now I have on the other outfit she suggested. So again, starting with the black cardigan, and then she said to pair the cardigan with the maxi skirt and the black Peyton Jensen tank. Since we've already looked at the cardigan. I'm going to take this off again. Now the tank I love, like I said before, I already own this in white. It is a great material. It's super soft. I feel like the quality of it will hold up and last for a very long time. Now the skirt, I really like the skirt. I think the skirt is very flattering. The ruching around the waist kind of helps disguise a little bit of my muffin top that I have going on. I think the cut along the bottom is super fun. I mean, you could wear a white tank, you could wear a light pink or the blue that I was talking about earlier. I think there's a lot of different options. I mean, you could even probably do a bright yellow if you wanted to. I think the buttons down the front are super fun. I'll do a little turn in the back so you can see it comes down. Again, I just put on the same wedge sandals that I've been wearing with the last few outfits. Now the tank I'll pull out just so you can kind of see. It is a longer tank. So it does come down pretty long and it curves up. I mean, it definitely goes all the way down to my bum there. So you could wear this with leggings if you wanted to keep it super casual around the house. But I do. I am super loving this skirt right now. What do you guys think? Okay, let's move on. We've okay, so now I have on the cut from the cloth jeans and this snap button chaser top. The jeans, they're okay. They're a lot tighter than the last pair that I just got. There's not very much stretch to these, whereas a few of the other pairs that I've gotten from Cut From The Cloth, I feel like they're stretchier. These ones are a different style than the ones that I'm used to getting. What are these ones again? These are the Reese Ankle Straight. So I think the last couple of pairs that I've gotten have been like the skinny fit. I mean, they fit, they're just a little tight through the hip area on me. And I'm afraid that if I was to size up, then they'd be too loose and baggy because I feel like I'm kind of in between sizes at the moment. Now, the shirt, I'm gonna tell you, it's 100 degrees outside. We've been having a massive heat wave here in California and I am, literally burning up right now and I don't know this this top while I love a good crisp white top I think it's super nice it complements any pair of jeans that you're wearing 
the only, my only concern is, is are these button details going to bother me? I had just done just a simple front tuck, but even then it's like, you've got these details on the side. So I almost feel like you kind of have to leave it out. Um, cause the snaps on the sides and then it's got the snaps on the arms and these are substantial. These are not, um, and they are, they are functioning. So I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could roll it up. Let's see here, actually, let me try one, do one more and see how that looks. I mean, it is, so you could, yeah, you could, you could definitely roll one side up if you wanted to and, or roll it down. Now they had suggested pairing this with the anorak jacket. Now remember, this is all supposed to be, I'm gonna actually do this back down again because I'm gonna put on a jacket, don't wanna have rolled up sleeves. Looks like that one is undone. The jacket fits nice. There looks like there's um, inside here you can do the pull strings and they tie on the inside so you can make the cinch around here as tight or as loose as you like it. Um, there is a zipper. It looks like a two way zipper here. Let's see. Come on, Lauren. Oh, there we go. And then it just has these flat pockets. I don't really like pockets in the side. They don't have, they don't have side pockets. That's like stitching detail and it's just the little flaps. And it has the flaps up here too. I feel about this. I definitely think I need to loosen the little cinches up on the inside. I think it's too tight around my ribs, but it fits. I mean, I've got definitely room inside with the other sleeve in there. It looks like they might've had somebody rolled it up, whoever tried this on last around the, the sleeves, but I don't know. I might have to play around with this jacket. It's nice. It is a little more thicker and a little more substantial. Okay, so now I've got on the last top that's the Chaser Peace top. This is cute. I think that the piece design is, it's fun, it's simple. It's a little clingy through here. Hugs my, I think also these pants because they're too tight. It's making, making my bumps some stomach lumps stick out a little bit more but for a nice very lightweight um, sleeveless top I think this is super cute all right let's do a quick wrap up and go over some pricing okay so let's do a quick wrap up on some pricing and then I'll give you some of my thoughts on each one of these outfits so first up we have the anorak jacket what did you guys think about this? I'm on the fence. It was originally $148. It was then marked down to 119, then marked down to 99, and now it's marked down to 79.99 and then um if I was to get it it would be 71.99 and it looks like and so there's all the markdowns on it. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm on the fence. I kind of feel like, do I need it? Do I, I don't know. I don't have anything like this. I do have some other jackets that I do like to wear. So I'm kind of on the fence. All right, so the next is the Peyton Jensen black cardigan. This one they have marked as 64. So let's see here. This is the Gwen cardigan in black. So my price would be $57.60. I'm kind of leaning towards keeping this. 
I don't really have a long black cardigan like this and I love my cardigan so kind of considering keeping this one. Next we have the jumpsuit. This is cute. It's just not really my style. There, I'm still, I'm still trying to find the perfect jumpsuit. It's just, or romper, one of the two. It's just not really for me. And this one, well, shoot, I wish it did fit. So this was originally $108. Then they marked it down to 84. Then it got marked down to 64. Now it's marked down to $39.99 on here, on the tag. You see all the various markdowns. So let's see here. So this is the Peyton Jensen, the Nina, Nina track uh, stripe jumpsuit. So $35.99 is what I would pay if I was gonna keep this. It just didn't fit right. I wish it did. I mean, I don't know. It, it's it's gotta go back. I won't, I won't wear it. Um, next up, we've got the Billabong Sunburnt Sky Maxi Wrap, kind of this fun, kind of definite fall colors, has like this total 75 going on. So this one, the tag says $69.95. Let's see here. This one, where did I say that the sunburnt? Um, $62.96 is what I would pay for that one. Next up is the uh, Let Love t-shirt, the New York t-shirt. It's a great t-shirt for somebody that wants another t-shirt. I just got the um, No Doubt t-shirt that I really love. And so I don't know if I need another one that's very similar since I feel like I'm kind of building my t-shirt, my good quality t-shirts up. So let's see here. This one, the New York T is $61.60. So yeah, I'm gonna pass on that too. Next up, we have this Chaser Snap um, long sleeve white shirt with the fun snaps. So this one, let's see here, where's the tag on this one? This one they have marked at 68. And so this one, I can find it here. It is 6160. I'm on the fence about this one. What'd you guys think? It's these are really heavy. It would be, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of leaning towards sending it back. Now, this skirt I liked, and I'm it's in my maybe pile. So this one again is the Dakota Maxi skirt by um TR Hawaii and it's listed as $82 and so my price would be $73.80. What did you guys think about this? I'm on the fence. I just don't know if I want to spend $73 on a skirt right now but it, I did think that it was super cute. You could do a lot of different things with it. So let me know your thoughts on that one. Next up is this Peyton Jensen tank in black. This um, is the Parker tunic tank and it's originally $38 and my price would be $34.20 because you get the 10% off. This, I'm, I'm going to keep this. This has been on my list of things that I want. It's nice. It's soft. It's kind of a, a thicker tank, um, but it's just kind of almost like shiny enough to where you could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could pair it underneath things. So I'm leaning towards, like this one I'm probably gonna keep. Um, next up is the Chaser uh, Peace Tank. This one is 59 on the price tag, so my price would be 53.10. It's just okay. It's not really my style. So I don't know. It, I'm probably gonna send this one back. Now the jeans from Cut by the Cloth, let's see here. These are $89. They had them marked down to $69.99. And let's see here. So the Reese ankle straight would be $62.99. For Cut from the Cloth jeans, $62 is a great deal. 
One, I don't need any more jeans. I've got so many pairs of jeans right now that I'm not gonna buy another pair of jeans. Please don't hold me to that in case something super cool like pops up that I just absolutely have to have. But until I drop down like two sizes and need to start buying a different size altogether, I'm gonna like try to not buy any more pairs of pants. Like that's, that's like on my goal. Like that's, I don't wanna do that. So these ones I'm definitely gonna send back. And then last are the black gauze pants. What did you guys think about these? This, this one here is probably the one I need the most feedback on. These are marked at $78. It's the Franklin gauze pants by Peyton Jensen. So my price would be $70 and 20 cents. So right now I am leaning towards here. Hold on. Let me just kind of get in here a little bit. Definitely gonna keep this black tank. I, we know that. In my maybe pile that I need your help with are these gauze pants. What did you guys think of these? And you can see like the texture in there and it has the little band, the skirt. I'm probably gonna keep the black um, cardigan and the anorak jacket. Out of these three items that are all roughly $70, give or take a couple bucks. Which one would you keep? Would you keep none of them? Would you keep the pants? Would you keep the skirt? Or would you keep the jacket? I don't know. Or would you send them all back? Like that's, I'm kind of on the fence. These are fun. I think you could dress them up for date night, um, weekend wear, going to a picnic barbecue. Not that we're going out to too many places, but we will again one day and hopefully these will still be in style. Now the skirt, again, same thing. You know, I think it's a great skirt, perfect for weekends. I could probably dress it up enough to wear to work. And then the jacket going into fall, but then do I really need another jacket? So, which I'm always like, yes. But which one of these is your favorite? Which one would you keep? That's what I need your help with. So I think this was, this was a fun box. Definitely some items that I never in a million years would have picked out uh, by myself or, you know, tried on ever. So these type of boxes always help get me out of my comfort zone and try new things. And, you know, as always, if you guys like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, staying out of the heat, and we'll see you next time. Bye.